Hello everybody, and welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Grimrock. Oh my, what? 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 You weren't, you weren't there just now? Wow, I just crit for over 100 damage on one of those arrows, that's crazy. Hello everybody, welcome to uh, Let's Play The Legend of Grimrock. Penultimate episode, final episode, possibly. Not counting bonus missions, depend how quick it, quickly I go. We are currently in the cemetery, the lowest floor in the entire dungeon, level 13. Now this is existing underneath the prison. We have a, a sort of a quest to repair the portal machine that will allow us to exit the dungeon, which is awesome. We have kind of this disembodied voice. Has, we're so close to the disembodied voice now; it can communicate to us at any time. It wants us to help. It wants to help us fix the portal up. Um, so every time we pick up some scrap, it will t give us a little bit more information. For example, this fume nozzle. Do we need it? Well, the flavor text here says a nozzle used to spout fire and flames. It's covered with soot. Well, that doesn't really really tell us whether we need it or not and this is why this bit right at the end of the game I kind of think is a little bit frustrating honestly because we need to find there's so many different items and bits of scrap and stuff from these heaps and things that we could need to repair the portal machine that it would just it's just a massive pain to figure out what the precisely the four items we need are the disembodied voice tells you with two of them but the other two it's just pure pot luck and they're really heavy a lot of these metal frames and big gears and stuff is heavy as hell so you have to start throwing stuff out of your inventory now, granted, we're right near the end of the game, so you can, in theory, a lot of this stuff, like these items I've been lugging around, I could just throw away, and indeed you'll see me do that. But still, it's a little bit frustrating to me. It's not the most fun gameplay, uh, but, you know, I don't know. Maybe again, I, I always find myself every time in this game when I don't particularly enjoy myself, I feel like I have to hold my tongue slightly, just because it might be something that I don't understand about what games like this usually used to offer people, and that it's all just callbacks to that, so I don't know. Anyway, we're going to continue along. Yes, more tentacle monsters coming out of the grates. I, I've got to say as well, I'm a little bit disappointed that the tentacle grate monster things, we don't see them, like, in full. Like, we don't get any, like, Kraken-type enemies. I think that would be so cool, but we never really see anything like that. I thought that would be so cool in later floors, like we see the real things, but nope. Uh, maybe they're just other forms of Goromogs, we don't know. But in any case, we've been killing many of these tentacle guys, and uh, we will continue to do so. The cemetery is, even though it's more like a traditional floor that we've experienced before, in a lot of ways it's still not like a normal floor, because basically this has got something like eight or nine Shrek tours, the fly things, just running around this entire floor all over the place. Uh, and because there are so many of them, you can never really know exactly where they're going to be and it's a very open floor like flowing floor there's not much linearity to it at all necessarily or, or like traps blocking you off but and that's just because it's kind of a playground basically as far as i see it to get all of the items that we're looking for you'll find all kinds of stuff on the floor like these uh, ring gauntlets you will have noticed a couple of buttons as well that i've walked past don't worry we will get them so, first of all, we have this gate here. If we press this button, it will open up the uh, access to a teleporter that will take us back up into the prison level. So, that's our way out. So, remember that. That's very easy. Nice. Lemon squeezy. We've got it. Over here, we've got another bolt, which apparently I'd lost from earlier. And the last two secrets in the game are here in the cemetery, okay? The first one is accessed from pressing this button here on the wall, which will open over... Actually, no, that's not for one of the secrets. That button, you won't figure out what it's done, but basically what it has done... God, I'm not describing this very well. You won't understand what that button's done, but all the way over here, there's a doorway that... Um, what? No, the doorway should be... Yeah, over here, there's a doorway that's usually closed, right? Sorry if this is making much sense. It's uh, that says no entrance, right? And you shouldn't be allowed in there. But that hidden button I just pressed does enable you to have access to it. So remember that. That's what that button does. And I would very much... I I'd press it as soon as you can. And then just kind of forget that it exists. So that's not for a secret. But that is for... Um, Actually, in a way, that's for a secret. I'll talk about that. That's, that's for an optional area. I'll put it that way. Here next to this button, though, we've got a steel gear, which I'm going to put I'm going to put all the heavy items we need on chaos. So this, the flavor text here is just a small gear. I mean, how are we supposed to know that that's necessary for anything, especially considering we've already got a gear? But no, that is needed. So a bladed gear and a steel gear so far we've got, which is great. Now, there's also this gate here with this button on the side. This is the only time in the entire game you will see a gate in this style with a button on the side of it in this style, which I think is a massive shame. I mean, what's going on there? That's crazy. So anyway, you've got that. On the other side of it is this uh, sack, which has got a bunch of torches if you want. I'm actually going to grab two of those. Just because chaos can, why not? And we're going to throw the sack away. There's also this here, which is item number three. This is ore. Okay, this, as we um, hover over it, uh, is described as a mineral rich with energy. And that weighs 10 kg. Like, that will start to weigh you down quite quickly. So I'm going to put these poison bombs down. We're not going to need them. Should we just throw them somewhere? There we go. 
Sorry, wow, did that destroy all of the poison bombs all at once? Wow, does that mean that there's six fields laid down there? That could be such a quick way to kill people. Or it's an annoying bug that's irritating. But in any case, uh, so we're going to throw away those bombs. Natalie has leveled up here, as you can see. Um, she's going to go further into assassination here. And yeah, it's like I said, I feel like it's such a shame that I'm not going to max these trees. I honestly thought there was a bit more of the game left, but... Well, there you have it. Right, so, uh, we came from that gate, right? I don't know why I placed it behind me. Now, over here, you will find... That's the Ring Greaves. There's another Shraktor over there. I did just see him. Shall we go and hunt him down, shall we? Uh, over here, though, just before we finish, is the final item we need, which is the Infuser. Okay? The Infuser. An assembly of small pumps and valves. It still seems functional. Brilliant. And once again, Chaos is way down, but we're going to throw away these uh, magic items. So, there you go. Right, because like, you, basically you could just become a massive litter bug at this point in the game. You could just throw anything wherever the hell you want. Okay, so uh, kill the Shrek Tor. Don't let yourself get paralyzed. We've been, what, paralyzed once in this entire LP? And we've only junk one sulfurous potion. I really wanted to demonstrate a lot of other stuff. And I will demonstrate some things from the alchemy in this episode or the next episode. Uh, one of them, though, would be sulfurous potions, which I have drank before and shown you guys before. But sadly, sulfurous potions, um, they take a certain type of mushroom to uh, cook which or to create, which I, I don't have any of. So I won't be able to demonstrate any more sulfurous ones to you guys, sadly. It would have been nice to have ended the game with that and, like, you know, gone out on a real high. But in any case, this is one of the secrets. One, only one more secret. There's two secrets on this floor in the cemetery this is one of those two um some fire bombs there which we can give to list there you go and it's very easy to find just on that little button that's on the wall um i find these buttons kind of funny as well because they seem to look just like old buttons they're just scaled down quite small but yeah in any case so we've got that that's one of the secrets now the final secret i believe <sighs> that's my dog barking it's Sunday, we're going to have like a big roast and stuff, and loads of people are coming to the house basically, so we're going to have like a nice dinner, but <laughs> people are slowly trickling in, and I've got to kind of finish Grimrock before I start getting pulled away too much. Anyway, right, so uh, the other secret is, uh, and you'll have to excuse me for faffing about a little bit here, but hey, on the, on the one hand, guys, I'm faffing about, on the other hand, these are the last couple of episodes, so enjoy it while it lasts, before I have to go do another project. Which isn't going to be an LP. The project that's re replacing this is not an LP at all. So, But I do want to keep doing them. I don't know if I'm going to keep LPing with uh, Oculus Rift stuff or what. I don't know. Anyway, oh, that button's for the gates that I talked about earlier. So that's not the secret. Where's the one area we haven't mapped out? Just behind here then, I guess. Here we go. And then there's one more button just here. Oh, no, that's for getting us out. So wait, where's the final secret. Oh, okay, so the final secret would have to be over in this section of the floor here. Don't forget about that gate, the no entry area. We will gain entry there, one second. Here we go, and then the final switch is here, which opens up um, a hidden doorway here. Is this it? No, this is the secret we've already got. What? What? Um... Okay, well, the map seems to suggest it's on the other side over here. Yeah, okay, and here's the final secret. There you go, guys. Now, what I'll do here is cleverly cut in some footage of me getting the final secret on my test run. You see, only so that you guys can see me proc the achievement in the bottom left-hand corner. That's quite a significant one, to be honest, getting all the secrets of the game. It's, you know, it's not bad. I, when I got that secret, it may have also been the other one, not this one. But in any case, uh, this one will give you four tar beads, which is great, and another two flasks. Like, there's so many flasks in the game. I now have every single flask in the game in my inventory, aside from the ones that you have, like, the optional choice to get. And have a look at that. Oh, my God. Look at all the flasks. Don't worry. We will make use of all of them for the end of the game. Don't worry. So, anyway, there you go. That's that's all of the secrets, guys, really. But, and we've also got all four items we need. So, what's behind this no-entry door? As I say, it's an optional thing. No secret, really, procs here. But you do get the one of the last treasures of the game. We still need two more treasures. Uh, let me just be clear about that. And um, what do we get in this final, like, long corridor, this optional corridor? Well, I spiders. Brilliant. I actually kind of like it, to be honest. I, I kind of miss spiders. It feels like a long time ago when, you know, we were up on that first floor with the, the puzzle where the teleporters were going in that big circle. And I mentioned that I always think of the Rooster Teeth podcast when I'm there. And the reason why I'm mentioning this to you guys right now is because, again, I've just thought of the Rooster Teeth podcast. There's another spider here who's just waiting in ambush for you, but if you duck off to the right as I just did you can trigger him to run at you yeah this is just basically a long corridor filled with spiders that yes are gonna poison you uh, of course they are they're spiders you can't fight spiders without them poisoning you uh, and also you're gonna find a couple of crabs coming down here too so watch out for that 
Namely, I don't want to get caught with my panties down. This kind of long cul-de-sac here, this this long area that's a dead end, this is actually where we're going to find the treasure later. There's a hidden button that opens that wall, so bear that in mind. Torch is going out. Let's pick up another one. I don't really care about the poison. The thing is with the poison as well, I think the reason why that spider area is so difficult in the early game is because poison doesn't scale to your max health. So they kind of put it at what they deem to be a flat rate that would be some kind of threat to you on later floors, but you know, not too much of a threat early, but it is too much of a threat early. So now I've just been able to completely ignore poison, but earlier on in the game it was just totally shredding me apart. Especially on my first ever run through of the game, I mean Christ. Anyway, we got some more of these guys. These are the last crabs of the game to fight in a weird way. I don't know, that'll make sense in a second. Well, not a second. It might be the next episode that makes sense. Anyway, uh, we'll kill some more crabs. They're just going to pile up here. I think these are the last few that we need to fight. Chaos is really low. What the hell? When did that happen? Uh, let's use some ice as well. Uh, did I show you guys as well that we are adept enough at ice magic to, cr to create ice bolts? I think I did, didn't I? Yeah, I think I did. Keep hitting them, why not? I two shot a spider on my test run, so I'm really sad that I'm not able to do it here. I think I probably got like a double crit when I fired with Liss and then I got a rampage attack on Chaos. And it was just like click, click, and the spider died and it felt so good. Anyway, the last one of those enemies you kill will drop a gold key. The last gold key of the game. There's been a lot of gold gold keys, haven't there? There's also some nice steak for us here, which we don't really need, but it's there if you want it. Uh, man, we are actually, I'm a little bit worried about this poison because you're in the still another spider go away spider oh was that a two shot or did no that was a three shot whatever okay they die quickly though and that feels good i love it right so you get the gold key there we go this is the last save crystals of the game sorry i lied to you earlier this is the last save crystal of the game and it's totally optional you don't need to come in this area this is the supplies area and the final kind of decision what do, what one do you want to go into now this is a full set of plate armor behind this door if you want to use your gold key there you'll get a full set of plate armor and that is how you will get your achievement should you have missed the uh if you chose not to get the the plate greaves before as well on that other floor which is what i'm going to actually pick here but for reference you get a bunch of torches and i believe just some alchemist stuff there but not flasks and here you get a bunch of bombs and a, and a crappy longsword so the choice here isn't really that good i think that the best choice you have to make is on the first one of these splits back in the trapped floor but yeah i'm gonna choose this one i'm gonna grab the plate greaves uh and this is a full set of plate armor honestly a full set so basically it's just a free way to get i didn't mean to do that it's a free way to get one of the achievements in the game for a full set of plate armor but there you go so Liz has now got sort of all decked out i really like the idea of her being in like really heavy armor with a with a crossbow and stuff especially when i consider what she's liking in my guild wars stuff like she's just so different so anyway, yeah she's uh, like pretty tanked up here now so yeah, that's the decision you get to make. This is all just sort of an extra side bit. But where's the treasure, you ask? What about the treasure, wooden potatoes? You mentioned there was going to be a treasure. Well, you probably will have noticed it anyway because the buttons are really easy to see. Uh, the hidden button on this area is behind that wooden box, which I would suggest if it's your first time playing through, don't touch the box because you can use that to remember exactly where the button is. Like If you know that the box is there, then the button's going to be here. By pressing that, as I say, it opens the secret door all the way back over here on this long corridor here. And there you go. This is the second to last treasure in the game. And I actually think it's pretty cool. Treasures found six out of seven, as you can see there. Uh, this one is the Globe of Tetharian. And the flavor text reads that none of the lands engraved on this globe seem familiar. Is it a map of another world? And I'm, I'm a bit of a sucker for fantasy games where there are multiple worlds. There was a, a game that my friend used to play. like uh, I think it was for the GameCube. And it had a plot that... Like, you were basically escorting this girl that in the end was, like, destined to die. But there were two worlds on it, I think. It was, like, this really cool RPG that I really wanted to play, but I never had a GameCube. I'm always a sucker, anyway, for games with multiple worlds. And when I read this, it makes me think of that, uh, the old mosaics that we saw on the walls in the Temple of Goromorg. Do you remember there was one that seemed like it was, like, a, a beautiful-looking land, and then on the other side it was, like, a dark, corrupted type of land? Kind of weird. I'll tell you now, the, the main story of this game never really explores the idea of them being multiple worlds. It doesn't really talk about that at all. So again, you know, I find myself talking about Grimrock 2 again. You know, that could be an interesting story for there. They seem to have thread through enough interesting things to make the universe reasonably compelling. Considering it's quite a long game that you spend a lot of time in, eventually you will start to wonder about that stuff, and I like it. You know, for, for a game that's made by four guys, I think they did pretty good. They just need to expand on it in the right ways, and yeah, I think it could be very compelling. Anyway, so there you go, guys. That is two secrets in the cemetery, plus a treasure in the cemetery, and we now have all four items that we are that are required to repair the portal to escape from Grimrock. 
So we come back into the prison section. Uh, we did just save it at the crystal, so I don't need to worry about that. Let's go have a look. So we've got four sections here. Okay, we've got four um, like walls, and we also have four items. The idea here is you go over to Chaos, he's got all the heavy stuff. Basically, you need to figure out where everything slots into. For this one, you want to take the small gear and you place it in the middle and it slots in there. And remember, very clearly, okay, this is a big tip to you guys, remember where you place these items in, remember what it looks like, okay? So you want to place the little gear in there. Now, over on this one, well, what could possibly go in here? Turns out it's the infuser. You want to put the infuser just sort of in the middle there. We can place the infuser in, which is great. Then we've got uh, a small gear here, which uh, we can kind of just click around. And it doesn't work. Come on, I know you go into this. I know the small gear goes on here. Oh, oh, another seismic event. There we go, it goes in there. Another seismic event. I'm going to break my rule for a second. I'm just going to quickly save. I'm going to call it end game. And then lastly, the last seismic thing, we're going to place the final thing in to create the portal to leave Grimrock. Ah, I am whole again. <laughs> you fool! You only lived so I can be set free. The only freedom you shall have is death. Oh! I'll see you guys next time.